Good morning. Today is the 15th of November, 2022. You can tell I'm still struggling with my um, cold, just cold letters. I'm doing better, although <laughs> it comes and goes. Uh, you don't care. <laughs> I mention it because I know I'm coming across as the less than 100%. That's my disclaimer. That's the second disclaimer. <laughs> I'm an old guy. Um, that's not necessarily the disclaimer, although it plays. Um, there's a... Um, the, the, the real disclaimer is... <laughs> I know of Taylor Swift, obviously. I couldn't name you a song that she's done. I'm familiar with her career path as such that it was. Let's see what I know. I think she started off as country western. I think she moved into um, pop. Uh, as far as I know, she wears her heart on her sleeve. If you're going out with her, if you're dating her, you'll be mentioned in her lyrics. If you break up with her, she'll mention it in your lyrics. If it's a bad breakup, she'll definitely mention it. That's, that's about as much as I know. Like I said, I couldn't name you a song that she's done. Um, I'm quasi aware that she's a big name. That said, She's also in a minority in that she is straight-sized. Welcome to my world. In my world, being straight-sized, which means not fat, okay, there. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. Um, we are in a minority. I get it. When 30% of the population is considered overweight, and then on top of that, another 30% are considered obese, that leaves the last 30% being not. <laughs> That's where we are. All right. She apparently made a video where she was commenting not just on her journey of um, being a celebrity. I, I, I'm guessing I, have, I don't know anything about the song. I've heard some of the lyrics, a read them um, kind of thing. I haven't heard the song or anything like that. So I don't really know what I'm talking about other than what I... <laughs> Thank you. YouTube and the, um, the back and forth of fraud activists being something else to attack. And they, I do mean attack. I feel so sorry for this woman in this element. I, from what I understand, her song is based on being a celebrity and the ups and downs of being a celebrity, how you look plays. Uh, quick little disclaimer, not disclaimer, quick little side note. I do remember the odds. I don't know why the odds are on my mind these last couple of vids, but in the odds, um, there was another big pop star. Her name was Britney Spears. I don't know if she's still huge or anything like that. Uh, not huge, but a big star. Stardom fades. It's the way it goes. You're popular, however long you're popular. And now you're no longer the, the, where you were. That's just the life and time. Of Southern. And I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Britney Spears apparently was going in the yachts, um, put out, and, and she had an amazing career, uh, from what I understand. Again, I, I know some of her songs, but not that I want to. But I, it is what it is. Britney Spears did a performance at an MTV or something where she was noticeably plump. And everyone rained on her prey for it. Oh, where was it, Brittany, that we knew? She used to be the sexy, young uh, starlet. Now she's this plump old. And she really was. I mean, I've seen the performance. It's okay. I mean, it's Britney Spears, right? Yeah, she didn't look her tip-top shape. It is what it is. I don't know. I do believe people crashed on her and made too much of it. It is what it is. Stardom is stardom. That is something that goes with the territory. Anyways, according to poor, back to my Tom, going back to, uh, God, I can't believe I forgot her name. Um, Jesus, why can't I think of her name? Oh, 
you know what I'm talking about. Oh my God, I, I can't believe that. I'm gonna pause it for a second. I'm really sorry about that. I guess the Britney Spears sidebar <laughs> threw me off. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift apparently has um, body morphia issues, and if they're not issues, she's concerned enough about it that it is part of her presentation. Um, she does not want to be, she doesn't want to join the majority. I don't know how else to put it. She, she prefers to be thin. She knows that it's part of her, her, like that's what she's, you sell yourself. I sell myself on, on YouTube. It is what it is, right? No, I don't, I'm not huge. I'm not as like, you know what I mean? That that's where she's coming from. So she makes a video where one of her concerns, and that's the way I read it, is to become plump. Um, maybe not to go through what Britney Spears went through. Whatever, I don't know. Like, all I know is she made a video where she sat and she got on a scale and it said fat and she was concerned, but it's part of her image. Uh, that's the way I read it. It's no big deal. It, it is what it is. Oh, and then the fat activist saw it and oh my God, this poor woman, she's being oh, scolded. She's being condescended to. She's being thrown under the, wow, the stuff that they're saying. I think they even made her re-edit the video. I'm not sure. I personally wouldn't if I was her, but I'm not her. And she does have a following, so she can do and will do what she wants. If she's bullied into changing something that, for her, was her expression of her song, that's sad to me. She can do what she wants, and not only that, the fat activists can carry on the way they carry on. If you think bullying a young woman who is creating a, a career for herself and sustaining it for as long as she has, and apparently she's doing pretty good from what I know, because I know of her, right? I don't follow her, but I do certainly know of her. I personally find it this close to being disgusting, the way they think it's appropriate to belittle, I condescend, yeah, um, to this poor woman who, I get it, you are the fat activist. You think being fat is beautiful. You, you convinced yourself that there are no health ramifications to being fat. You think that it's all good. For, for you, it, it must be. Enjoy your carbs. I don't know. Leave her alone. Jesus. She's just a, a woman putting out a song and this is what was on her mind. This is what, how she expressed the, her lyrics. Wow. Um, some of the um, negativity from this specific community, and this community, I'm sorry, but I consider it very toxic. It is also one of the reasons I bang on about it enough, because it is. Like, there's, in real life, you don't meet these people. You, you see them online, you hear of them, and their fat politics and fat activism, but no one in real life carries on the way they do. And if people in real life did, they wouldn't have that many, in my opinion, friends. <laughs> Probably even family members might be not taking their calls. I mean, they're, enough is kind of enough in for that to me if you want to bang on as I, I bang on about what goes on behind my patch daily like I get it like if, if you have something to say, say it and let the ramifications be what they are picking on a woman who does not share your Happiness of being fat. I don't know. Like, you should listen to yourself, you fat activist. You were, you think life is grand being fat. 
You think you're not even unhealthy being fat as you wheeze walking up some stairs. <laughs> okay, like if that's not unhealthy to you, it's not unhealthy to you, rock on. It was unhealthy for me. I'm not sure that it, the health concern is necessarily what um, motivates uh, Miss Swift. That said, whatever her motivation is, if she doesn't want to be fat, let her not be fat. You enjoy your girth, let her not. Anyways, bit of a rant today, I apologize. Not doing so well, and for some reason, <laughs> I just was so disappointed to people picking on delightful, for my opinion, young woman. Anyways, that's what's going on behind the patch this morning. I will talk to you guys later.